Hey, what's up everybody? Tony here. Today I wanted to talk about this Ernie Ball Music Man Silhouette. Uh, this is a, a BFR. It's a Ball Family Reserve. This is number 54 of the 75 that were made. I uh, just did a little uh, jam video there, just playing through the tones and uh, switching through the pickups and, uh, you know, rolling the volume knob on and off. It's just kind of a improv thing there. Uh, it's a, it still had the plastic on this uh, and it was coming off. It's a mirrored pit guard. Um, I, I just put a little uh, scotch tape right here because it, the plastic was peeling off here. So if you notice that in the video, that's, that's all that this is right here. But it's an alder body. It's, it's fairly lightweight. It's seven pounds, five ounces and has this nice sparkle finish on it and a beautiful roasted flame maple neck. Uh, that has this really nice gunstock oil wax blend on it. Uh, I believe the fretboard has that as well. This is a, a, a very nice, even dark ebony fretboard. It has a <coughs> medium stainless steel frets on here. There's 24 of them. Uh, great access with a great uh, neck uh, joint hill here. <coughs> Shallow locking tuners. And the guitar stays in tune great. Uh, it has this uh, you know truss rod adjustment here wheel here and the uh, vintage Ernie Ball Music Man uh, trim that is top mounted. I used a little bit of it in that uh, little intro, uh, but it has the bent steel saddles and a really big uh, brass block in the back there. Guitar sounds great, plays great. These are the super distortion pickups. Um, I tend to like the, the other ones they use the, in the normal uh, version of this guitar. The, the PAF, uh, the DiMarzio PAF. These are DiMarzio Super Distortion, and you know these actually sound really good. They're, um, you know, they're chrome covered here, but it, uh, they're when I think Super Distortion, I think of something super hot. Uh, you know, I wasn't really familiar with these pickups, but um, yeah, they're not bad at all. They're uh, this is 13K, so it's kind of it's not uh, low output, but it's not super high. Like a JB is like a a 16 I think 16k um, this is nine here this is a chopper and this is which I think this if I'm if I'm correct I, I could be wrong on this but I think this is like a little humbucker uh, not a mini humbucker but like you know you know just a single coil version um, and uh, this is the super distortion neck pickup and I believe it's around the seven or eight K range either way uh, you heard what I was getting out of it. I was using my Kemper and it was a matchbox um, matchless amp. Um, five uh, way selector switch and just a volume and tone, no push pull pot or anything like that. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a really good guitar, uh, very easy to play. The, uh, this is probably one of the easiest and fastest guitars I've ever played. Now, I didn't really display that in the little, you know, improv at the beginning, but man, it's really, the neck's really nice feeling, uh, uh frets are done really well, and the, um, it's a, it's a nicely rolled board. As far as neck profile goes, um, it's a it's a little smaller up here than it like normal um, like on my uh, my Sir guitar. Um, I can't remember. I, maybe I'll put that on the screen with the exact measurements here. Or if you if you look these up, you can probably find them uh, with the measurements are. But it's just your standard Ernie Ball Music Man uh, nut width here. Um, but uh, this one, the neck's not. It's a small neck. It's a it's it's. I wouldn't call it super thin. It's this okay. In relation to like a, a Majesty or any of the JPs or the new Sabers, this is more wood back here than that. It's right here at the first fret. It's actually uh, 0.800, and here at the twelfth twelfth fret, it's 0.880. So that'll give you an idea of the depth of it. But it's just whatever their neck profile is, the neck carve. It's really comfortable to play. And I have to say, for a, a neck this size. Um, this has got to be really one of the easiest uh, guitars to play. And I know I already mentioned that, but it just really is. Um, you have this, uh, it's a push-in bar here, and you've got the silver uh, tip there and a silver tip here on the five-way selector switch. But, yeah, um, 
plays plays and sounds great. I know this color is a little out there for some people, but uh, it's, it's it's a cool guitar. Uh, it really is. I left the plastic on it. One of the reasons that I did was because uh, it's a mirror pickguard, and shooting YouTube videos, it's you're just going to see all the mess that's on the other side of the camera, and I wanted to uh, to not do that. I do have a black pickguard. Uh, that I can put on here if, if I uh, decide to do that. But uh, I did want to just share this video. I didn't have a lot of time today. I've been crazy busy recording uh, music and uh, doing some other things. But I haven't been able to put out a lot of videos. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, wind some things down and put out some more videos here in the near future. But I did want to share this really cool and interesting guitar. And this just, I'm going to show the neck off again. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, and I do want to also mention that the access here uh, for 24 fret guys out there like I, I am, especially for this type of guitar, uh, there's plenty, I do have bigger hands, but this is pretty uh, awesome, the access here. And, you know, uh, I do have one little issue, the same that I have on my Sir and on a lot of guitars uh, for me, um, is that if I'm playing classical style, my hand will sometimes hit the lower horn down here. Uh, it's not as big of an issue on this one as it is on my Sir Modern, but um, uh, it's, you know, whatever, for whatever that's worth. And, and two, I'll, I'll mention this. If you do have, uh, I don't know if that this matters so much, but if you have uh, bigger hands on a, a smaller type of neck like this, um, and again, it's not as small as like the Majesty or anything, uh, it's still really comfortable to play in my hands you know, my hands don't hurt, my thumb doesn't bother me or anything uh, on this. And you can kind of grab the whole thing. Um, I had a Stingray a guitar. I do have a Stingray bass, which is my favorite bass. But I had a Stingray uh, guitar a while back. And I can't recall if it was very, this neck was similar to this, or you know, as far as the, the feel of it. Um, I don't I don't recall uh, that but it's um this is a little thicker than your uh, like I said your JP and your majesty and the sabers this is a, a thicker uh, type of neck than those yeah even though it's not it was super thick so anyways I did want to talk about the neck because the neck feels great um, and uh, just kind of give you guys an idea for me I mean I'm not a huge guy I don't have big hands in the sense of big they're just long and long fingers um, I'm now about 6'2", and I have, you know, I can palm a basketball. So if you're around that and you have, uh, you know, that's, I'm trying to give you a gauge on who's playing this instrument uh, right now. So um, anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you're doing well out there. You guys continue to stay safe, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up if you liked the video. And post comments in the comment section below. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care. Keep rocking. Peace. God bless. Until next time.